Okay guys, it's happening again. We are making a super high design piece of furniture for one tenth of the budget and with like zero equipment. Plus zero experience because I have never done something like this. Okay, we are making the seat belt rocking chair and it's this piece over here. It goes on the market for almost $2,500 and I have never done a rocking chair. I'm not sure how am I going to do this thing where it rocks without me banging my head, fall from the chair and die. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to figure it out. Equipment. You're going to need two pieces of plywood. I'm going to give you the measurements at the end. A lot of sticks of wood and maybe something like 15, 20 meters of rope. Now that I showed you all the equipment and I bought everything, I can tell you for sure that we're gonna make this for 100, 150 dollars according to where you buy the material. That's even less than one tenth of the price. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it better. Let's start by measuring our wood. You're gonna have to cut it in a block of 76 times 78 centimeters, and then we have to measure the height of where we wanna make our seating area, and then we just round it up. The seating area on the front is 78 and the back drop drops at 45 and then guys these measurements are hard to get so you're just gonna have the screenshot of the right measurements at the end of the video. Now I know that you think that my measurements were completely weird and impossible to recalculate but don't worry once I'm finished with all this at the end of the tutorial and on my Instagram you are gonna find a picture with the final measurements of this. <laughs> Not measuring it with fists but with real centimeters. Now let's go ahead and mark how thick we want our structure to be. I did it 5 centimeters, but I'm gonna correct myself and tell you you're gonna have to do it 10 at the end. And this is where we're gonna wrap around our elastic. Take out your screwdriver. What we have to do now is simply cut out the entire shape and then we're gonna trace it on the second part because we need two identical ones. But it's impossible to go with the jigsaw inside the wood, only from the outside. And that's why before, ugh, we need to make a hole with this. Go ahead and make a few holes inside your wood till you have enough space to put the blade of your jigsaw inside. Like this! And then we simply cut all the inside away. We're gonna do exactly the same thing with all the inside and all the outside. And yes, I know it. Cutting curves is hard. Just use some patience, because that's the main ingredient of every DIY. Yeah! And now you can hula hoop with it. Or maybe not. <laughs> Let's make two of them. Making the second one is obviously super easy because we are just tracing the first one. But remember that to make them the same, you're gonna have to be cutting out in the inside of your drawing. This is when you finally learn that cutting inside the line is worth it. Okay, it's time to check if this thing is comfortable or if it works at all. Okay, 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 okay. I got the sides right. Okay, these bad boys came out pretty awesome at the first attempt and they are already rolling. But you see they get stuck in the middle because there was a flat corner. So we are gonna fix it sanding down this so that the curve becomes more smooth. There's not an out of explanation over here. If you're cheap like me, you just go with a sanding paper and sand it out or use your sanding machine. It already made a huge difference. It's time to talk about how white our chair is. Like always, there was not a lot of information to find out how to figure this out. And that's how it should be because people like me copy them. So we're gonna have to figure out this as we go. I started by simply making sure that the holes would be the same on the right and on the left leg, and then I cut it. For the bottom, 76 centimeter thickness, long depth pieces of wood, and for the top part, 68. Because yes, the bottom part is fatter than the top. This makes it swing more easily. On every single hand, we're gonna go ahead and make a tiny hole because I learned my lesson. And if you screw the screw inside before making a hole, it just pops into it. The chair is gonna appear in front of us. Yes! If you have somebody at home that can help you in this, it's gonna be a lot easier because till you put the first two, this thing doesn't stay. Yes! It's working! Now we're gonna go and force in the bigger one on the bottom so that the space automatically creates correct. This is completely crazy. We've been working 
on this chair for a little less than an hour and a half and we have literally the entire structure built we just need to wrap it around the strings and it's done okay so how are we wrapping the strings i want this to be 100 percent secure so i'm gonna put like a hundred staples on it wrap it around staple it again and then hammer it like this it's not gonna move for sure like always guys you know that i like to put the names of all my pattern subscribers inside every single creation i make so here i am adding the name of all of you inside of it thank you so much for supporting this channel let's go back to the video how do we do this we do not go straight while we're wrapping this you can see that i'm going straight then twisting the wrap on itself and then wrapping it on the border i'm gonna go very fast but because it becomes so much easier as you go guys if you calculated the measurements of your wrapping wrong, it is no problem at all. Once you wrap to the corner, just staple it again a lot, a lot, a lot to be sure. And then you can get a new piece of wrap and start doing the entire chair. I completely miscalculated the first time. I thought that five meters would be enough. I ended up using something like 90 meters of rope. Another video is done. I hope you had fun at least as much as I did making this chair and I am obsessed. It rocks perfectly. Before we go and see the final result, do not forget to subscribe because we post amazing super high design remakes every Monday and room makeovers. I'm gonna make you save so much money. Oh. And now that you clicked on that subscribe button, let's go see the result. But because the back is less elevated than the front, look, it rocks all the way to the front, but I'm not breaking my head on the back. Look, it blocks. This is perfect.